hello and welcome guys to another status report highlight for the week of the 3rd of November 2014. And we're going to kick things off as usual with Daisy producer Brian Hicks, who says, As 0.50 is pushed to Stable Branch, it is important that survivors understand a few key points about this latest update in the Daisy development cycle. 0.50 and features specific to this update are, as always, very early prototypes. While we do iterate weekly on experimental branch servers for both functional and gameplay reasons, many systems behave very differently when exposed to the much larger audiences on Stable Branch. Additionally, as we blaze ahead towards our end-of-year goals, we will see performance server-side bounce back and forth. Those on the DayZ development team endeavour to finish off the year with not only the additional features mentioned in last week's status report, but with the healthy and steady server performance rate. As always, please use the feedback tracker when reporting issues and make sure to work with your game server provider's support if you are a DayZ server operator. Hicks then carries on with, that said, let's revisit last week's comments regarding changes to how project updates and development info on DayZ is communicated to the early access survivors. As mentioned last week, we will be rolling out some changes to DayZ.com website, project calendar, experimental and stable branch updates, dev streams, maintenance, status reports, events. DevHub will be moved to the landing page of DayZ.com to allow easier access to the latest news and updates about the development of DayZ. Server status widgets slash block. This displays the current status of stable and experimental branch, e.g. online or offline. In addition to the changes to DayZ.com, we will be reapproaching how we handle the dev streams. We will continue with the dev team play sessions, however we will replace the alternating week play sessions Q&A frequency with a dev blog. Commentary style video that contains the team's commentary on the previous play session, as well as discusses and shows things upcoming to experimental branch. As we roll these changes to DayZ.com and our dev streams out, we will always engage the community for feedback at the official DayZ.com forums. And lastly, as many may be aware, the game server providers recently started rolling out support for the renting of private shard servers on Stable Branch. To celebrate this and to coincide with the upcoming Christmas holiday, the dev team are looking for the best, strongest, most epic, generally most awesome communities. Do you have a DayZ squad, clan, server community or otherwise group of ranked tech survivors? We want to hear about it and you. Tell them your tale at support at daisygame.com and the top three entries by December 1st will win free server hosting for their group for a year from multiplayer game servers, as well as the option of private shards, also free, to go with it. Winners will be announced December 3rd in that week's status report. That's all from Brian Hicks this week. Let's move on to lead game designer Peter, who starts by saying, with the delay of releasing stable version caused by crashes last week, we entered a data freeze mode, thus not many new things went into the experimental. Mostly safe fixes or tweaks from our side, however work didn't stop for the team. Currently they are working on enhancement of horticulture with fertilizers and protection against pests. Cooking is being prepared for refactoring and at the end gas cooker and fireplace will offer similar possibilities. Apart from that there are ongoing discussions about construction, zombie AI, inventory and other aspects of the game. And then Peter moves on to vehicles as nearly everyone is looking forward to them so I would like to disclose the current status of them a little. Vehicles implementation in the engine itself like handling, physics and other parts I was completely written from scratch. Design finally got their hands on them as the programmers finished their work on basic needs and they will continue further with their work in parallel with ours. So far they have a drivable V3S with basic configuration in-game along with some basic controls and their focus now is to bring the initial implementation to the public as soon as possible. Of course, as it will be just the basic stuff for now, Peter would like to point out that it will not be wise to await advanced features like complete repairing with full controls, all parts, upgrading, mounting points, shooting from vehicles and such. All this and much more will be an ongoing iterative process and it will take a while to reach the final implementation, so bear with us. And finally, Peter finishes off the report by asking us to refresh our knowledge on traffic rules. Does this mean we'll see vehicles soon? I hope you enjoyed this week's status report from the week of the 3rd of November 2014. As always, I would recommend reading this status report yourselves for the full amount of information that they hold. All links will be in the description as well as for Daisy TV for all your latest Daisy news and information. But for now, I'll see you peeps next time.